uh, B.J. Mir is a Pakistani TV anchor person and as some have known a former professional cricketer. B.J. Mir is considered as a top journalist and has the distinction of having been interview, having, having interviewed presidents and prime ministers of Pakistan and other countries. P.J. Mir hosts the program Q&A with P.J. Mir from London and Lahore studios. Over many years he's become a very close friend personally and of the, of the community and has attended many events over many years. I'm very honored he's here with us this afternoon and I'd like him to come and say a few words. <clears throat> Mr. President, distinguished guests and uh, delegates, assalamu alaikum. I will not make a long speech because uh, when Mr. Muzaffar Chaudhary asked me here, he said you'll only be given about four or five minutes or then maybe three minutes. And I said, I don't want to suffer the same fate as of a certain Prime Minister who was asked to speak for about five minutes, but he went on for 45 minutes. <laughs> so because when he first started, he was uh, speaking for 15 and somebody like myself standing here and the President came and said, sir, I think your time is up. But about 10,000 people left. He still continued and then Another after 15 minutes, the President again came and said, Sir, I think your time is up. But he still continued for another 30 minutes, another 10,000 went. And when 45 minutes and he still continued, everybody left and there was only one man left. And he still continued. <laughs> and when he finished, he asked, since everybody has gone, why are you here? He said, well, sir, I'm the next speaker. <laughs> so I, I don't want to take that time. We're all gathered here today for a very prominent and a very important message and that is love. Because love breeds nothing but peace, tolerance, consideration and goodwill amongst communities. And until and unless we don't actually follow this from the hearts, from the core of our hearts, we'll be missing this message. Because this message is not for one community, this message is for the entire world. This message, when we leave from here, this message has to be repeated and told, and told to the children, their children, and an ongoing, I say, enigma. But ladies and gentlemen, we are in very difficult times. You've seen what has happened in Lahore, you see what is happening in Islamabad, Karachi, and all over Pakistan. They are the kind of extremist elements who are ignorant, who breed ignorance, and we see the result of that. Education, if today we teach our youngsters and give them education, yes, we will have serene, calm, and loving gatherings. But otherwise, we will see. Let the NATO forces go in, let the Pakistani army go in, let anybody go in. We will see the same grim, sad and sorry figures in Pakistan. So today is a time for the people of the world to unite, people of the world to respect each other. And above all, I always say that, look, we clap for others. Don't clap for others. Let others clap for you. Let others actually clap for you. Why do you want to clap for others? Because when you are self doing something good and the whole world is clapping for you, I think you've done a job. And this is my message. Please, in your own individual capacities, breed that word, love, tolerance. If somebody is unkind, walk away. If somebody is unfair, walk away. Why? Because that will give that other person a shame. A shame that he is wrong and you're right. And this is something I think which we need. And in the end, I'll always say, and I'll take this opportunity that, look, these organizations and these events are not easy to handle. And I would say, taking the opportunity, I think a round of applause for all those people who've organized this. This is what I'll say because they are the kind of people who make events and functions a great event. Once again, Mr. President, thank you very much and thank you for having me here. Nara
محسن انسانیت